Okay, so the lane detection. We're not controlling the robot now. It's driving by itself after the lanes that it detects in the video. You can see the green area. It's green. For this demonstration, we're going to show you uh, the robot do a navigation and pick and place this object from a randomized placement that could be here. As you can see on this screen, on the screen we have the detection detecting the object and then estimating the position of the object. Uh, this is broadcasted in ROS2, so you can actually see the object relative to the robot model. And now we it runs one, one more time, where it sends the coordinate to the robotic manipulator. And the coordinates are sent, and it will do a pick and place operation. So this is supposed to be uh, one example for what you can develop for a pick and place operation towards a warehouse uh, operation for one example. As the, the, the design is developed now, this is now scalable to actually a warehouse where the mobile robot could be a larger platform and here now we can have a universal robot on it and then pick bigger objects for example.
This is the condition monitoring lab, and uh, in this experiment, we're gonna measure the vibration of a shaft using a laser and a photodiode. Basically, um, the laser uh, points uh, a beam on the the. Uh, As you can see, we're gonna measure different things. In order to simulate all the cases, it is necessary to move the bearings. This is a faulty bearing and this is a healthy bearing. The faulty bearings are marked with a letter. In order to choose which bearing you are going to use, 